Join me as I improvise my way to creating some heart-stopping nudes. So the first things that I needed uh, were some mozzarella, some parmesan, some noodles that you want to make some mac and cheese with, some parsley, then you need some chicken broth, some sun-dried tomatoes, an onion, and then a beer to get started. The rest of the ingredients will be down in the description below. All right, so next thing, you're gonna wanna get your chicken out and get it ready to go. And because I didn't think far enough ahead, one of my chicken breasts was frozen and hard as a rock, so I needed to go ahead and defrost it. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is to get the chicken in a cutting board and cut the chicken lengthwise down the middle. And then you're gonna wanna do this for both pieces of chicken. And because I defrosted the one for a little bit too long, it started to cook on the end, so that's why it looks a little funky. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of oil to the pot we're gonna be using as it heats up. Next, we're gonna be getting that chicken doll seasoned up with the Italian seasoning and then the paprika, or in my case, if you didn't have paprika, I used chili powder instead, and that worked pretty good. In fact, this whole recipe, actually, I needed to pull a couple audibles because I didn't have all the ingredients that I wanted to use, but it ended up turning out really good. Next, we'll be taking that chicken and cooking it in the one pan that we're gonna be using for this whole recipe. Then once your chicken is cooked, you're gonna pull it out of the pot and cut it up into small pieces. And I actually pulled my chicken out of the pot too quickly and so it's a little pink. And after I cut it up, I put it back in and let it cook for a little bit longer to make sure it was all cooked through. Because we do not want to be getting that salmonella. Next we'll be grabbing a good bit of butter as we oil up our pot and get ready to saute the onions. And just ignore how dirty the pot looks because I had just taken the chicken out. So we'll actually be chopping up our onions here uh, and dicing them. After I cut this onion, I realized, even though I just bought it like a few minutes before, that apparently it was a bad one because it looked a little nasty on like part of the onion. So I ended up just cutting it, uh, uh, cutting that part out um, and using the good parts as much as I could for the recipe. Like I said before, this is very much just kind of figuring it out as we go. I don't know about you, but like I always found like the sound of knives cutting on wood like super like cathartic and like relaxing. But anyway, so this, I always like cut it, cutting up onions, minus the crying part. And I was shooting for about six cloves of garlic. I ended up just kind of eyeballing it and throwing a bunch in. Then you're gonna give that a good old mix as the garlic and onions start to cook. And this next step is optional, but I always love adding wine to recipes when I can, so I grabbed a white wine to add to the mix. I usually just kind of dump it in and then feel it out, but if you want an actual measurement, I would recommend about a third cup. Next, we'll add a little bit of oil from the sun-dried tomatoes and then dump the rest. And then after that, we'll just add all the tomatoes themselves. I don't know what was up, but they just did not want to come out of the jar this time. And then we'll just add in a few tablespoons of flour to help thicken things up. And then keep on mixing. It should start to look a little bit more colorful now. Now we'll add a lot more liquid to the mix. So we're gonna be adding in milk or light cream or half and half or heavy cream, whatever you have. I ended up using the last bit of heavy cream that I had and then some oat milk to top it up. And go ahead and slosh all that cow juice in there. And I know it doesn't look as nice, but I use the same measuring cup to measure out the two cups of chicken broth that we're adding next. Then add that chicken broth to the weird looking cereal mixture you got in the stove. Next, we're adding just a pinch of seasoning to the mixture. And add in your box of preferred nudes and let them soften up. Next, we're gonna chop up that parsley so fine. Just a quick check on the noodles to see how they're doing. And now we're gonna add all the spinach that I have left. And now we're gonna give that the best of mixes. It's looking like it's starting to come together. And now it's mandatory that you try to grate the cheese so fast that it flies out of your hand. The first cheese I used here was a little bit of Gruyere that I had left. And then I added in some aged Irish cheddar and then ending up with some Parmesan. Give it a little mixy mix. 
And then now we're gonna add in the mozzarella. So, but first drain it, cause we don't want any of that cheese juice in there. Honestly, any form of mozzarella would work, whether it's, you know, the little mozzarella pearls or shredded cheese. The shredded cheese would probably melt quicker. This is just what I saw first when I was in the store. Add in some of that fresh parsley. And we're back to mixing. Next, we're gonna add in a little bit of salt. And we're looking good. Throw in that chicken that's been getting lonely out there on the side. And give it one final mix to make sure everything is nice and combined and you're good to serve. Top with some parsley. And then enjoy.